Welcome back to another episode of Ben talking to himself whilst flying paragliders, this time in the Jura Mountains in northern Switzerland. And we're off. We're back at Weissenstein in the Jura Mountains. And I'm going to attempt 200 out and return. I've taken off at 10.30. Feels like I've taken off too early, but we'll see. Might have to do a bit of groveling in the beginning. Luckily, I did a month of flying in the England, so I'm basically a pro at that now. All right, ready to go. I'm fairly confident I've taken off too early. So if this doesn't work here, then I guess I'm gonna walk up that road and shorten the task. Have an afternoon flight, pretty desperate now. One benefit to taking off early is that if you screw up, there's always time for another go. Too early, yeah? I shortened the task to 150 kilometers, and after a short walk, a bus, and a gondola, I was back on takeoff. Okay, attempt number two. Today doesn't seem to be my day. Okay, the first climb is done. I'm glad to be off the ground, it's f***ing hot. Clouds look better behind actually, so if I get an opportunity, I could consider just dropping a ridge back. I've got a bit of headwind now, so I'm gonna step on the bar. If you enjoy the video, do us a favor and give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have any questions or suggestions, just leave it in the comments below. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I land at sunset after over seven hours of flying. So I could see other people higher back on this ridge. So I decided to move over and I hopped one ridge back. There's also cumulus clouds on the next ridge line, but I might take an, a line diagonally to get onto the street. Oh, this climb was good, but I seem to have lost it because I'm getting distracted. Good flying with other people has been helpful, actually. I'm approaching the cloud street now, so hopefully that will bring out my average speed. Things hopefully will get a bit easier. And I'm gonna follow the clouds around in the semicircle. Um, I think there might be airspace at that wind farm, I'm not sure. I'll see what the other gliders do and check the map maybe. <laughs> Only about 14K from takeoff and it's been an hour. It's the first hour, so I guess it can be a bit slower, but I'm gonna try and get it, pick up my average speed a wee bit now. Sorry. Well, the chap in front of me is spiraling down. I guess that's a good sign. He's worried about going in the cloud, I guess. So I'll fly towards him. <laughs> I don't know. Must be going up like stink. 
So I'm about 50, 50K in maybe. So it's about 50K to the turn point. Probably an ambitious task for the day, but we'll see. Cool, good fun. So I'm just topping up here as uh, much as I can, just up to the cloud. Before I have to do, there's a little blue section ahead. There's a CTR here, but I think it might be closed because everybody else was flying through it. So I was going to go around it, but then I seen everyone else inside it. So unless everyone else is just breaking the rules, it's entirely likely like, oh, well, I'm out of it now. And now I'm heading along this ridge line. And the turn point is at the end of the lake. Well, it's the lowest I've been since takeoff. But it feels like I've got the climb now. After a bit of swearing at the glider, this gives my hands a bit of time to warm up. I'll try to climb back up quickly and efficiently as I can. Pushing into a headwind, trying to get around this ridge, hoping I can soar, but pretty low. Fucking hard work now. Be good if I can get up from here. I can see a bird down below me, he's not turning. So by this point in the flight, I'm 55 kilometers from takeoff. I still have about 20 kilometers to my intended turn point and things have started getting really hard. You can see the drift in this thermal pushing me back the way I came. This is when I decided to change the task. All right, so I'm going to make that low point my turn point. I got back up to 1600 meters and I'm hoping I can get back on the cloud street and then I'll run back home again. And if I make it in good time, then I can push the turn point out at the other end. Cool, that was quite frustrating. I mean, I had patience and eventually I got out of there, but bloody hell, it was hard work. And now, I'm gonna skip the turn point and now head home. All right, back in a decent climb now. And I'm gonna try and take this all the way to the cloud if it will let me. I'm at 2000 meters. Oh, that was hard work. All right, I'm gonna get as high as I can, hopefully up to the cloud, and then I'm gonna not go below 2000 meters because down below 1600 was really really hard work i'm probably gonna stay on the north side because that's where all the clouds are oh, i love this part of the day i was gonna be gutted if i landed at three o'clock it's now 10 to 5. i'd like to try and fly for as long as i can today it's really beautiful later in the day Two thousand eight hundred. Oh, looking better for making it back. Couldn't quite get to the cloud, but it, the climb sort of weakened, and need to kind of get a move on. So head for this next cloud, and then get on the main ridge. Hopefully, run it all the way back. Sweet.
Cool. 2,980 meters. Pretty much got, um, goal is on glide now, but I'd like to try and push a bit further if I can. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But at least I know, I'm pretty confident I'm gonna make it back to the van, which is always good. Well, it's quarter past six. Feels like it's shutting down. These clouds look like they're all decaying. I'm gonna run this ridge back to the takeoff. And if I get a climb, I'll keep going, but otherwise I'll turn and go back to the van. Good day out. Like, it was, was frustrating to uh, warm out early, but it came on well. Got back up to launch in a couple of hours and still managed to make a good day of it. And then at the other end, at the turn point, that was, it's got really low. I got low there last time I was here, I remember. But I do love these final glides. Final turn point, that's it. But now I'm gonna glide back, take, take off and go land next to the van. Beautiful flight. This is the most magic time of day to be flying. So cool. Oh, such a magic time of day. Love flying this late. It's 20 past seven. Just spectacular. Yoo-hoo! What a day. I've overcooked it. I probably could have pushed a bit further because got 2,000 meters over takeoff. So. Oh, well, at least I know I'm going to make the van. I'm just enjoying the sunset now. Stunning. Just gonna cruise around until I eventually go down. Awesome. Good day out. Oh, well, that was a bloody good day out. I mean, I didn't fly as far as I wanted. Um, I wanted to fly further on the first turn point, but um, yeah, I got stuck and decided to turn around because the wind was pushing me back. There were some really cool moments of like flying fast on the cloud and pushing bar and yeah, there was, there was some good street flying and flew into the sunset, magic. Good day out.